Hello everyone, welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles, where today we are going to be taking a look at Cinebiquette's brand new one-third scale Freddy Krueger with the Infinity Hell Base. Now this is a tribute to Freddy, and uh, I am excited to take a closer look at it. Again, this just came out, and this review is going to be a little bit different just because of how large he is. I kind of can't use my little studio for this guy he is massive and speaking to that we're just going to knock out some stuff real quick uh, before we get started this box that he comes in is very large um, for those in the future who are looking to ship uh, the box is 32 inches by 32 inches by 20 inches and it weighs a whopping 84 pounds so it is heavy inside the box you will find that freddy comes in two trays here is a look at the first tray for packaging or repackaging for those of you who care. And here is a look at the second lower tray which holds the base. Also, we'll go ahead and take a look at the cert. Which it says it's a run of uh, $4.99, which is what it was originally opened up to but uh, only about 300 people ordered it, so they only made 300 of these guys. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start unboxing him and we will take a closer look as I kind of go. <clears throat> Obviously, we're gonna start with the base and uh, we'll get that set up and then we'll go ahead and get all the accessories kicked in there as well. Okay, so I got the base out of the packaging and uh, doing this by yourself is a pain in the butt. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting Helping hands, but I don't have those. It is massive. It is about 24 and a half inches wide and about 23 inches deep. <clears throat> and I've got it lit up right now. What we're gonna do is we'll just take a closer look at the, the details on the base with the lights on, and then I'll turn off the lights and we can kind of take a better look at the infinity hell effect, which as a at a glance is just absolutely incredible. Let's come at look at the face. The weathering is just killer. They did such a good job on this. And just I just absolutely love this piece I know it's not a piece for everybody but as far as the price is concerned but <clears throat> it's for me and that's all that matters and I think it's freaking killer so let's go ahead and uh, we'll turn off the lights and we'll take a closer look at this base with the lights out this thing is phenomenal the infinity hell effect is just absolutely incredible I really, I don't even think that my camera is doing this thing justice because it's just so freaking badass. This is the best base that I have for a statue, hands down. I mean, look at that. That is so freaking cool and I'm so stoked. So let's go ahead and get Freddy set up. Before we jump to that though, real quick, I want to show you the booklet that's included. And we're just gonna go through the pages here real quick and you guys can pause to read. And if you don't wanna see this, then fast forward. But I like documenting this kind of stuff just for People who may be interested in the piece or in the future somebody lost their booklet or something like that they, for whatever reason they want to see what's on the pages here they can do so and I've already 
taken the time to go through here and kind of read over the development of the piece. And there's the assembly instructions. Very cool. Now as far as finishing off the base, we are going to start with the pipes. And they are pokey oaked, which pokey oak means that they can only go one way on the base. They are also obviously very heavy. And there's a uh, felt pad on here for the top of the Infinity Hell effect. And they basically just go on here like this. In there like that. And then we will get this guy there too. All right, now the next piece that we're going to install is his shoe. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this while we have it readily available. And Freddie himself basically has a long rod that goes down through this, down into the base. But this keys into the base first, so that's what we're going to put in. Now that we have Freddie's foot keyed into the base, let's install Freddie himself. Okay, so now we have Freddie installed in the base, and he did fit okay, although you have to use a little bit of pressure to get the metal dowel down through his boot and into the bottom of the base. But it went through just fine. I would be careful with the pressure that you apply though. The only thing that's left on him is to do is to install his gloves. So let's take a closer look at that while we are, while we have it in hand. Pun intended. So the blades are metal, though they aren't sharpened. And I kind of wish that they had taken the time to do that. Although it's something I can probably just go and do myself. But the detail is very nice. So there is his glove hand. Okay, so now that Freddy's glove is on, the final piece to install is the handle to the incinerator door. And it goes in the downward position. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. Just like that. And finally, they include a plaque, which is really cool. I did not know that they included this. Uh, it was kind of a surprise for me. I don't think I will display it with this, um, but I love that they included it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Freddy now that he's all assembled. And he is a total of 30 inches tall from the bottom of the base to the top of his hat. Speaking of his hat, it is fixed, molded into place. Uh, it is not removable. They had not said that it was going to be removable, but it would have been nice if it was a real hat and had been removable. As far as the face sculpt goes, <clears throat> this is a tribute to Freddy, but he is obviously taken from Dream Warriors. And while I really like the glass eyes, <clears throat> I feel like they look really, really well done. Uh, the sculpt is kind of lacking for me. Um, I don't know what it is, but like I feel like the sculpt was just not nailed. He does look better from different angles though. I'll give him that. But it is kind of lacking. So is the paint a little bit. I feel like I can kind of clean it up and do a better job, but I also feel like on this expensive a statue, I shouldn't have to do that. We'll come down through here. The sweater is well made and well tailored. Those 
hand. We'll come over here to his glove. Which, I mean, he looks great. It's just little things here and there that I would have liked done differently. Again, I really feel like more time should have been spent on the sculpt just because it obviously looks like Freddy, but I feel like it could have been done better. And I'm not really too thrilled with the way they handled the teeth. But I can fix that up. Should I have to? No, but I can still fix it up, so it's not a huge deal. Come down here to his pants, which is not really anything to speak of here. <clears throat> we already kind of looked at his boots. The only thing I can kind of say is that I wish that they would do something different as far as packing bodies or whatever, because like when they're in, the, in transit, they get these weird wrinkle lines on here. So I'm going to have to kind of go through and kind of fix up his pants a bit. Kind of iron out some stuff and get creases where I feel like there should be naturally creases and whatnot. So here's a look at the base. It's not lit up so you can kind of see how it looks. And uh, I got to tell you guys, I'm probably not going to light him up. Um, I think he looks great that way, but... It will just be every once in a while type of scenario that I'll light them up. And just like uh, Jason, there is a power supply here and then over here is the on off button. I'm sorry for not kind of getting everything in here, but uh, he's kind of hard to film in his entirety just because he's so big. But we'll kind of come back a little bit here. So you can kind of get an idea. And of course I have him next to Jason. All right guys, so I ended up moving my filming lights out of the way. So we can kind of turn out the lights and see things together. I think Freddie and Jason look terrific together. But let's focus on Freddie. Here's a look at the completed base. With the Infinity Hell effect, which, I mean, it's just so good, guys. It really is. There's also a glowing effect to the LEDs in here, which I don't think that the phone camera is really picking up on as well as it should because it looks incredible in real life and then through the camera, it's kind of, eh, kind of barely showing up. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights real quick and take a better look at them and we'll discuss final thoughts. All right, so I just kind of change, keep on changing my mind about this piece. Uh, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. I'm going to keep it. I'm thrilled to have it. Again, people say, well, they're not going to spend that much money just on a base alone. I kind of am. Like, I, I love that. But Freddy, though, don't get me wrong. Some light, he doesn't look painted great. And in some light, the face sculpt doesn't look great either. But then... If you catch him in the right light, uh, he really looks the part. I think he's just kind of very light dependent. As I do, there is things like I wish that were better on him, but not anything that I can't fix as far as finishing up the uh, the tailoring and stuff, getting that, getting the wrinkles ironed out. And I was going to come through here and kind of touch up his face, but under like normal lights and not studio lights, he actually looks really good. So 
I'm trying to capture for you guys. So I think I might kind of just let them sit for a while and decide if how I like them. But I love the pose, and I mean, it's definitely got Dream Warriors written all over it. All right, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this piece. I'm sure that you guys have them. And uh, just be honest, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. I, I, I love it, I'm gonna keep it, but I'm just curious. So just leave any uh, comments or questions that you have on it and I'll be happy to answer them. And as always, feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And what I'll do is I'll try to get some studio shots here and uh, leave you with that. And until next time, I will see you guys later.